it's one of those days where I just don't feel like doing anything. I'm here just kind of like looking around, sitting around. Babes are here killing it, getting work in. Uh, so, you know, everything's just kind of up in the air, up in the clouds, but I'm trying to get warmed up and uh, pull something out my ass today. A lot of you probably might be asking, you know, what's going on with the bench stuff. I'm still doing the bench stuff at a lower, slower rate. Um, a lot of stuff's getting in the way as far as, you know, games, tournaments. Also, um, the other day, I was doing stuff for watching the U.S. Academy team. So I might be going to start doing stuff for the U.S.A. Rugby Academy team when I get back. Um, and then on top of that, leaving for Amsterdam, London, and Spain. Um, so, um, you know doesn't know I mean there's obviously I found some dope gyms out in that area uh, but I kind of want to utilize those gyms for you know other purposes uh, but uh, you know if I can still stick with the bench stuff while I'm out there I'm gonna be gone for two weeks so I'm still stick to the bench stuff while I'm out there that'd be cool um, probably get some rugby training out there as well uh, but we're gonna be out there for Ben's birthday and uh, yeah so today might just I kind of want to just kind of see what my bench is right now I kind of want to try to max out today to be honest uh, but we'll figure it out lined up uh, trying to edit and uh, get out to you guys before we head out to um, we're heading to Amsterdam London and Spain uh, we'll be out there for our, our about 10 days almost two weeks and uh, we leave very soon so stay tuned for those videos the vlogs the workout stuff I'll be hitting up different gyms out there uh, possibly um, try to hit up a, a rugby team in London uh, while I'm out there and go connect with the rugby trainer out there in London so that's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, he's already agreed to it. I was trying to get a hold of Obi Vincent, but he hasn't responded yet. And, uh, and Gabriel say, uh, hopefully um, do something with my homeboy. You know what I'm saying? We've been on the same YouTube grind for the for years, and I feel like our channels have always been kind of like matched together. So it'd be cool to connect with him and uh, hopefully probably get him out on the pitch, get some rugby stuff, maybe uh, do some like athletic stuff. Uh, but today, man, we're just in the gym. Uh, not supposed to be a bench day, but I might try to get another one out for you guys uh, today before I leave out because uh, I don't think I'll be able to really hit it like that <laughs> uh, on vacation I don't want to be too sore um, but yeah man let's just get it enjoy it make sure you like this video subscribe to the channel and uh, let's keep it up
four or five for seven before I, I there's no way I was getting four or five for seven before I started this program. So I used to have four or five for ten, uh, but as time went on, I just stopped benching and uh, yeah. But four or five for seven today, I'm, I'm for a day that I didn't even feel like being in here today. Like I, I'm kidding you not, I did not feel like being in here today, and I'm I'm pretty pumped up about that, 100 percent. Uh, I'm kind of rested and see uh, how far I can take this. Want to put on 50 more pounds to see how to one rep it, and uh, you know, just, just we're just testing things out today. I'm kind of giving you something to see before um, before I get back for my trip because on my trip we're going to be doing other exercises at different gyms, uh, just kind of showing out and stuff, just having fun in the gym. And uh, but we'll continue the uh, Small Love Junior program once I get back. But here is something for you guys to see. Um, where I'm at at the moment. So, hell yeah, I'm excited. Hopefully I can get to four or five for 10 in like the next two months. at a Mexican restaurant on the way back from the gym. Now tell me why as I was waiting on my food, I had one Paloma, one Mezcal Paloma. I had one Mezcal Paloma, bro. And I'm, I'm, I am out of it right now. Do not drink right after the gym. I worked out faster today. So here's that. Then the stress, the physical stress, the mental stress of not even wanting to train today. And there's that. And then on top of that, hunger, throwing, yo, that Paloma went straight to the blood vessel wrestles, bro. Straight to it. I'm just like, I'm a little, I'm like, I'm on like a 20% like a tips in um, protocol. But I'm going to talk to you guys right now about how I'm feeling on the Small Ops Junior program, um, you know, as far as muscles, joints. Um, and just keep it 100. I got some chorizo with some tortillas. I'm gonna try a taco real quick before I continue talking. With the cheese though. Damn. All right. So, to start out, how I feel, I'm gonna be 100% honest. I can't fully do this program a full week and still do rugby practice and, and still be mobile and stuff with throwing, even scrumming. Because when I play loose head, my arm is over, you know, this guy, right? And then I have to reach over and grab the other guy and my chest, you know, but especially when I play tight head, because when I play tight head, my arm is like this, attached a little bit harder on my uh, my hooker. And then, you know, it's, it's a little bit better, but on this side, nah, yo. Yo, my chest was suffering so much. I, and I you know what, somebody commented, and I was like, man, nah, but nah, they was right. Yo, I, I almost, I thought I was gonna pull my chest for the first time. I thought my chest was gonna pull, I was gonna have some issue. Um, so, I've really had to dumb it down on how many days a week I train the chest. Um, uh, so therefore, so I, I pretty much extended the, the program to like like a seven week program instead of a four week, simply due to that, those reasons. Like I can't keep up with the recovery needed to do that. Like I can't keep up with the recovery in a period. And uh, my joints, my, uh, my elbows hurt. Uh, so I, I need to get some pads again. I'll probably hit up uh, Strong. I forgot what's it called. Power Strong. Mike's uh, thingy. But yeah, um, I, I need some elbow pads for sure. Because um, my joints hurt um, for 100%. And it's it's tough. It's tough to get through. So for those who can get through this program fully, kudos to you. Because I, I, I can't. But I'm... I feel like I'm making good progress. I feel like um, that like 
strong, where it's like, even like today, I don't feel that strong, but when I start moving the weight, I'm like, damn, that's, I was moving that joint. And I, only, I didn't even, I don't even feel like moving that joint. I don't feel strong enough to move that joint. It's a weird strong that I'm feeling right now. It's just like a strong that's there, you know, versus a strong that, like, I got this strong. It's just a strong that's like automatically there. And I, I, I like that, you know, cause it's like, even on my worst days, this is what I can do. Now, you know, what if I wanted to really be here and wanted to lift this weight and, you know, stuff like that. So on the program, I've, I've completed two weeks so far. So this is my message, you know, for everybody, you know, two weeks in and um, I'm feeling good. 100% good. I'm feeling like, you know, at the end of the, the program, we we're definitely going to see some progress. Um, so when I say two weeks, I mean two weeks of the program fully, even though it's been about like three weeks because uh, I've extended the program three or four. Um, or, the, or, or the third week or something like that because I think I've, I've managed to do three times a week so far. Um, but yeah, so let's keep it going on, man. If you guys are enjoying these videos, like, subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna finish my food because um, your boy is hungry and we leave to London, we leave to Amsterdam tomorrow. So catch you guys later. Cheese not as good as I thought it was going to be.